perfect song for activist Marley Dias. She's an author, a public speaker, and the youngest member of Forbes 30 Under 30 this year. And she's not even in high school yet. Wow, slacker. At the age of 10, Marley started a campaign called Hashtag 1000 Black Girl Books. She was frustrated, she said, because she hadn't read books in school featuring black main characters. So she set out to collect books featuring characters that looked like her. Well, she succeeded big time, more than 10 times over. Marley received and donated more than 11,000 books. Remember, she was just trying to get 1,000 at the time. Well, she's now 13. She's got a new book. It's called Marley Dies, Gets It Done, and So Can You. By sharing her own journey, she hopes to encourage others to become activists. And Marley Dias joins us at the table. Welcome. Thank you. Thank I remember you. we were all blown away. Remember, Nora, that yeah, story? And you, were, you were just a little girl raising all these books, and we thought, she's going places. Mm -hmm. Ava DuVernay, the great director who's directing Wrinkle in Time, wrote this about you, the foreword. She's a beautiful brew of kindness, confidence, and curiosity. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate I, I that. I like that. Oh, yeah. I. I, I like got to that. meet her through um, all the events I've done with Elle, and I got to be a um, kind of editor in residence for them. And I wanted to write things that express the experiences of girls. And I had to, I had an interview with her, and I was so lucky to get to ask her questions like, what were her favorite books as a teenager, and who inspired her, and why she decided to be a director, even though she was a publicist originally. That's how she started, but she yeah. nailed it about you. She didn't say you were a TBN, which is a. Total book nerd. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that because you know I, I try That's to. That's in your book, Marley. I, know, I, I didn't I know, make I know, that I know, up. I know. I try to block out the words because there's some words that, you know I don't want people calling me completely a total book nerd. And in the book I talk about it where yes. I'm kind of a perfect mix of everything, and so is everybody else. Uh -huh. So if you like reading, you are allowed to like to dance and to like to sing and to like to act. And even though I wear uh, glasses, I'm not just a mousy person who stays in my room. Even though I do sometimes, yes. who stays in my room and reads. <laughs> But your campaign about racial harmony, what, are, what is it that you're seeing that's disturbing you that you said, I got to do something? The biggest thing that's disturbed me is these social structures and these infrastructures in schools and in our communities that are pushing um, away from this intersectionality of being a black person and a woman and a girl, and they're not including all of us, but they are thinking that because you're black and because you're a woman, we are trying to create a system that supports you, but they're not thinking about that point of intersection between the two where I, uh, I'm a mix of both, mm -hmm. and that we need to include me in both of those realities and not just one or the other. What about your friends in terms of this racial harmony, though? Um, I have a very diverse group of friends, and I feel like in school we try to just be open with each other about whether or not we feel like we made someone made a joke that was not appropriate, or we feel like we were saying something that was not an educated response to a question, which I know makes us sound like, you know, we're really like PC, whatever, and, and really like this, but we have a lot of fun together. So at the same time, we try to keep it, you know, loose, because not every conversation is going to have perfect knowledge um, with the things that we say, but we want to always stay educated on the things that are happening in our community and the communities that surround us. What are some of the things and advice you give in terms of being an activist? I think the biggest thing is that success is not measured by uh, whether or not you're on CBS this morning or whether or not you make the local wait news station. Wait a second, Marley. But no, but <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Depending on take, where you are yes, in your depending. career. Depending. It does depend. Yes, it take does that depend. back, Marley. I will reverse. But, <laughs> ahead, um, but I mean that it's not measured by the um, the things, that, the places that you go yeah, and the I materialistic know. things, but by the actual people that you touch in the place that you're servicing. So I'm servicing black girls and I'm servicing educators and all kids to see the beauty and diversity of people but I want to make sure that everyone knows that when you help that one person or when you give back your full energy, you are helping somebody just as much as I am. Mm -hmm. Where does your confidence come from at this stage in your life? Because I'm thinking she's got no notes, no nothing. This is just you talking because you do have a very confident way about you. Where does it come from, this desire to improve, be better, and then spread this message to others? I think the biggest thing where my my passionateness comes from is yes. that I uh, love reading and it is something that I really care about and it's not like I'm, I'm talking about football or basketball or dancing things that I enjoy but I'm not necessarily my favorite things uh -huh. and I try to say with kids you always even if you're in the middle about things that you like pick with the stuff that you know you can go on and go on and keep going and keep going because it's so much more important to continue with that because you'll feel so much more joy yes. in the things that you do. Yeah you said the most important thing in the title is Marley gets it done and so can you with you being being the most important word. Yeah. Yes, I feel like uh, confidence is something that's Thank really you. important. Thank you, Marley Thank you, Diaz. Marley. I appreciate it. And congratulations on this book. It is available online.